depict me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time. Amen. I am so grateful to be before you tonight. Amen. Because it's not by me, but it's by him. Hallelujah. He knew this day even before I was born. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank you for worshiping him. Amen. Amen. You know, one thing we should know about worshiping. Worshiping is not told. Amen. Amen. Worshiping the Lord is not told, but is felt. Yes. Worshiping the Lord is from inside. Yes. Brothers and sisters, you feel it within you. And you don't have to be told. You don't have to be pushed to worship the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You just feel like no matter what, I have to go in the place of my God to worship Him. No shoe, no cloth, no what. No matter I have missed breakfast, I don't care, but I have to go. It is not told. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We have to feel that. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says that Jesus told this woman that the time is coming and the time is now. Mm. The true worshippers will worship the Lord in spirit Amen. and the truth in spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Nobody will be telling us, hey, let us go and praise the Lord this place. Let us, you just feel, you have a drive inside you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you brothers and sisters for worshiping the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank God. I also have a testimony. I have I don't have a testimony but I have testimonies. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Soon I'm going to meet my family. Hallelujah. Amen. And I can't wait. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Very soon I'm going to meet them. And they can't wait also. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And uh, secondly, I want to thank God also for my son. He has not been performing good. Amen. And whenever we could go to the school, the teacher, they used to explain to us that this boy is the active boy, boy in the class, is the cleverest boy in the class. When during classes, he performs very well. But when it time reaches to put things on the paper, I think he thinks he knows. <laughs> and always those people, those pupils, yeah, Nasare, P1, they always directed by teacher. But if for him, he cannot wait. He thinks he knows, and he goes ahead and does everything, <laughs> and he gets out. <laughs> then the results come, <laughs> he has not come home. <laughs> Actually, when he, he comes home, we go with him through the homework and he does it well. But it has been my prayer God change this boy. I thank God that this time he has performed very well. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is our God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Today we are going to learn even there is a black eh, a white boy. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, we were, we, 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 we were on the black boy. Yeah. Now it's time we are on the white boy. Amen. Right. We are going to learn about something. And uh, we are going to learn about pastors. Yeah. Pastors. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And by the end of defining pastors, I want to assure you that you all know that you are pastors in one way or the other. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pastor, um, one definition. It is the ordained leader of a Christian congregation. Ordained leader of a Christian congregation. That is one definition. The second one is a spiritual overseer. Amen. Amen. A spiritual overseer is a pastor. Hallelujah. The third one, a minister in charge of a Christian congregation. Hallelujah. Amen. This congregation has a pastor, a lead pastor. We have pastors, but we have a pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. So, a minister in charge of a Christian congregation. Four, in another language. Praise the Lord. Amen. Not Lusoga, but Latin. 
Amen. In Latin means shepherd. Praise the Lord. In Latin means shepherd. To lead to pasture. Hallelujah. Set to grazing. Cause to eat. And if I'm not mistaken here, everyone follows in here. Amen. A shepherd. Praise the Lord. If you have any congregation, if you have a group you are leading, praise the Lord, you will pastor. Choir leader, intercession, elder, you are having a group you are leading spiritually. You are the one I'm talking about. Amen? Amen. Even in your family, if you have a family, you are father, you are pastor. God is looking unto you how you are going to bring up those people. His people, you are accountable for. Amen? Amen. You are accountable for those people under your roof. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, you are a pastor of your family. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Amen. These people, these leaders, they are not chosen by men, but they are chosen by God. And we should not talk this seriously. Whenever we have or we need to choose a leader, we don't just choose anyhow. We put it into prayer and then we give it time. We live for God to choose his leader. Amen? Amen. Because it is not we, but it is him. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give let's see an example in Acts 1, 23 to 26. How they were how they replaced Judah. Judah is called chapter 1, mm. verse 23 says, And they proposed it to Joseph called the Basabas, who was son of Justus and Matthias. And they prayed and said, You alone, who know the hearts of all, show which of these two you have chosen to take part in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. And they cast their lords, and the Lord fell on Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. Amen. They told the Lord to take part in this ministry. Hallelujah. Amen. So whenever we need to choose somebody to lead any department, it is God to choose, not we. We just propose. Amen? Amen? So all leaders are from God, and they God is watching over them, and they are accountable for the people under them. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pastor. We are going to see the characteristics of pastor. How we are. If you know you are a pastor, if you can take it to a pastor. Amen? What are the characteristics? How are we supposed to be? How are we supposed to behave? Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 The pastor needs to be prayerful. Amen. All the time. Amen. All the time. Amen. Amen. T. You have to be a prayerful husband. You have to be a prayerful man. You have to be a prayerful, a prayerful leader. Amen. Amen. We have had so many definitions about prayer. You know. But I'll just say, this is the way of communicating to our God. Amen. Amen. The way we can communicate. The way we can communicate to our God. So we always need the guidance. We always need the direction. Spiritual leaders, pastors, we always need guidance and we only get the guidance through prayers. You have to be a prayerful person. Amen? Amen. We get this example from David. David always consulted God. David never did anything before consulting, inquiring from God. That is communication. He always had the communication with his leader, with his father, with his God. Amen? So we need to be a prayerful pastor, a prayerful father. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And another example, Jesus himself. 
He prayed all the time. He prayed every time he could go to the mountain. He's praying. He's praying. He needs God. He needed God. Hallelujah. He felt he maintained that communication with his father. Then who are we? We need to be prayerful. Hallelujah. First Samuel 30, verse 8. So David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this group? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. David always inquired from the Lord. He maintained that communication. Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew 14, 23. Matthew 14, 23. It says, And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now when evening came, he was alone there. <coughs> but the boat was now in the middle of the sea, tossed by the waves, for the wind was contrary. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus himself went on the mountain to communicate to God. He was so prayerful. There are so many other scriptures which shows that Jesus never ceased to pray. Amen? Amen. So we need to be prayerful, brothers and sisters, all the time. Hallelujah. Amen. Then A, attentive. Pastors, we need to be attentive. Attentive to the Holy Spirit. God speaks. And we need to be attentive to listen to Him. Amen? When we are communicating, you have ever heard people communicating on the phone, or you have ever communicated on the phone, you don't just, it is not one side. Amen? You communicate, and then you wait another person to communicate back to you. Amid this the communication, someone may have a message for you. When we are prayerful, let us be attentive. And then we listen. Amen? Amen. The Bible says, those who have the ear, let them hear. What the Spirit says to the church. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we have to be attentive. This is Revelation 2.7. Revelation 2.7 says, He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give to each from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Yes. Submission. Hallelujah. We need to be submit. We need to submit to our Father. In other words, we need to surrender. We need to surrender. It's not we. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. We don't know what will happen the next hour. But when we surrender to our Father, He can always lead us. That's right. Lead us alone. Amen. Let us listen. Let us submit. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Matthew 26, verse 8. Then he said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful even to death. Stay here and watch with me. Can you go ahead? Another. He went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, mm -hmm. Oh my father, mm -hmm. if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. <coughs> not as I will. But as you will, there sometimes we think it will be good. But as you pray a prayer, tell God His will to be done. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The man Jesus, he prayed, it was too hard for him. But he said, let your will be done. 
not my will. Let us surrender. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us surrender. T. Teachable. Yes, you are a pastor. You are a leader. You are a father in the family. But listen to some people who may be low. Amen? Amen? Listen to them. Maybe they have a message for you. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are a pastor. Listen to the verses which may be weak verses in the ministry. Don't just despise them. Praise the Lord. Be teachable. Don't feel you are proud. You know everything. No. Let us be teachable. Praise the Lord. Amen. No. The Bible says, blessed is the poor in the spirit. Let us not glorify ourselves. I am a pastor. Who are you to tell me? Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good and all the time we are going obedience Amen we need to obey praise the Lord the voice may come and you may feel maybe it is not possible but obey hallelujah praise the Lord the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. Let us obey the voice of the Lord. God speaks. When He speaks, don't ask how it will be done. He knows the moment that He has spoken, He will provide. Let us obey. Now, here, it will go even the other side. Obey to the leaders. Amen. Amen. You pray on formation. Obey the CID. Amen. 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 You are on the village. Obey to the local councils. Being a pastor doesn't mean that you not obey. You are a man of God, but you need to obey authority. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Obedience is so much important. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes when we pray on formation, I don't want to go in front to pray, to lead the prayer before the senior God allows me. Because it is his formation. That is obedience. Amen. Amen. And even if it comes that it, he has not allowed it, our battle is not of flesh. Use another way, but let us obey. Praise the Lord. Amen. Obedience is so much important. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, reachable. Reachable. This is our pastor. Reachable. Are you reachable? Do, do they find you where they need you? Are you available? Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's read Genesis 3, verse 8 and 9. Genesis 3, verse 8 and 9 says, And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, Where are you? So he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid my soul. Amen. This man was not where he supposed to be found. God may be, he wants to see you in the praising. Maybe you were one time in the Bible study and God wants to see you there. Maybe one time God used to meet you in the intercession, but you are no longer there. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Please gain your place where you can be reached and told. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
go back to that place. God is looking for you. Where are you? I used to find you here in this church every Sunday. Where are you? You used to be in the choir. What happened? Where are you? Are you reachable? The Bible says no one can put the hand on the flower and turn his back. Praise the Lord. Amen. You were somewhere, but you are not there. God used to meet you somewhere, but you are no longer there. God is asking you, where are you? Are you reachable? Can God find you? Then, on the other side, when people want to meet you, amen, your flocks want to see the pastor, can they reach you? How many gates are there to find you? How much do I have to pay to find my pastor? I have a problem. Amen? We have seen this several times. There is a price we need to pay to find the pastor. Amen? Are we reachable really? Let us be reachable pastors. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayerful. Attentive to the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Submission. Surrender. Teachable. Listen even to the weaker vessel. Amen. Amen. Obedience. Obey even the authority in your village. Obey the voice of the Lord. And then reachable. Hallelujah. Amen. This was Genesis 3. Amen? Amen. 8 to 9. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me,